Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Just got our latest shipment from BattleBox. Let's check it out. We're at Mission 87. All right, up first valued at 15 bucks. We have a pack of these. These are body wipes from Clean Freak. I literally just used these for the first time yesterday. I was out fishing with my kids and my wife. And when we got done, um, had some of these in my truck. So let them, uh, you know, basically clean off. It's like basically a, a large uh, wet wipe. So 15 bucks is the value for this simple product. The nice thing about them is, you know, a package of wet wipes is like maybe this big and this high, maybe not that high, but you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit bigger. Whereas these are individually packed. You can like throw them into an EDC bag, throw them into a glove box. It doesn't take up a ton of space. So nice to have some of these. I could actually refill the ones that I used yesterday. And uh, yeah, and you can get 30% off with the code BATL there right on the, uh, right on the front. So that's our first item, 15 bucks, simple product, but they do work well. All right, next up valued at 22 bucks is this little system from Fox Edge Knives. And as you can see, little loop there so you can attach it to gear. Two snaps here. This one snap I found particularly hard to get un, to get loosened up on this one side, but not a huge deal. Some paracord that comes with it. And then inside, <coughs> excuse me, inside, you can see those two, these three items. So we have two arrowheads. There's one, there's two, and then you get this little saw so that you can basically prepare the shaft of the arrowhead to put the system, to put the uh, actual arrow together. So there's all three of them. Kind of slick, 22 bucks. Uh, reminds me of a system that Condor uh, Tool and Knife or Knife and Tool has, and uh, they don't have that little saw, which I think is kind of cool because that helps you do the, the prep work. Um, I think for the condor ones, you can get like fish hunting, um, something to make me scared. Trident, you know, for frog hunting or fish hunt hunting. Um, and then uh, they do have a separate one where I think they have three arrowheads. So simple little item. And obviously, you know, you could use this as a saw. You could actually put that into a handle and use it as a, a small, small knife. But this could go into an Altoids kit, um, survival kit, you know. Um, anyhow, just kind of a cool product, I think from Fox Edge, 22 bucks. Next up coming in at 24 bucks are these. These are from Modal, M-O-D-L. That's called the Flexa Beaner. And basically it's a way to secure gear. So obviously you can see, bend this, put that little um, kind of tab into here. And now you've got a way to, you know, control gear. So imagine if you had like two ski poles or something, you could attach them to a pack with this. You could attach other gear to a pack with this. You could actually put this, I'll do this just to show it to you, but you can put these two together. So there's when you put two of them together and now you've got a really big loop. I will tell you 24 bucks for two of these, 12 bucks a pop feels too expensive to me. These were, you know, 10 bucks for maybe two, still feels a little bit expensive. It's basically a piece of rubber and a metal tab. So I think that's a bit high as far as the price, um, but cool, simple product to attach gear. I've actually got a co my cold steel shovel that I'm attaching to a bushcraft bag I'm making. And I think I'm going to find a way to uh, utilize these to secure it to the uh, secure it to the pack. So that's our third item, the uh, Flexa Beaner from Modal, M-O-D-L. All right, next up, coming in at $40, another product from Modal. And this is a, um, a water bottle, but apparently it's pretty multifunctional. So let me take it out of the, the box here. On the side of the box, it says versatile, flexible, open-ended, eco-conscious. And so you can see a bunch of different basically options there on the side. So you've got your go, go mod, your flow mod, your pure mod, your rinse mod, your sling mod, your what's next. Um, less material, less space, and emissions inspired by bees, this hexagon shape. So that's what it looks like. So let's take a look at a couple things here. So you got these two kind of handles on the end, so you can attach it obviously to gear. You can un, you basically loosen one of these up to put it over something if you want to do so. You get a cap on both ends here, which is kind of cool. So there's one. There is a metal kind of ring there, which is cool. So there's one end. Let's take the other end off here. Now we got all the instructions and stuff in the middle. So let me, you can see them in there. Let me, uh, yeah, there, let me take these out. Uh, so there are a lot of additional accessories you can get with this thing. Let me show you one of them, which is the the rinse option. So basically you're going to, you know, fill your bottle, put this on the top, and now you can use it as like a shower to clean yourself off, clean your gear off, you know, rinse off your animals, whatever it might be, your dog, if you're out there hiking with your dog. Take that off when you're done. Put this guy back on. 
and you are. I'm gonna make sure it's properly threaded there. There we go, and you're good to go to go hiking again. Now, this thing, when you take this off, you can collapse it, you know, into a smaller shape than like a, a Nalgene water bottle. The material is strong enough that it's not like it's gonna, you know, get to this big, but you can certainly collapse it and make it make it smaller than your average Nalgene. Um, they do have a bunch of additional accessories here. So if you get, let me show you the, um, the picture here. There's a little additional kind of like top there and then you can also get the straw system. But then you can see a Sawyer filter inside. And so you can actually put a, um, put a filter inside for using it, you know, to drink water out of that is filtering basically as the Sawyer is actually in, in the, um, inside the water bottle. So cool, lightweight, um, kind of outside the box. I'm wondering, you know, if you got a couple of the additional accessories, if this starts to eliminate the need for other things, if you've got the pure um, filter, the uh, Sawyer filter, and it's in there, maybe you don't carry a, a Camelback instead because you got this guy, obviously it's smaller than a Camelback, but kind of an interesting, interesting new item to uh, consider and check out. Mosquitoes are crazy today. Value for this is 40 bucks, so not super expensive. You know, a solid analogy is gonna run you maybe 12, 15 bucks. So it's definitely more than that, um, but it is gonna offer some additional features and functions. I would say still 40 bucks for this <clears throat> with not a ton of the additional accessories. Feels a bit high in the price for me, but uh, I, I will be, I'm actually going going on a uh, trip and not too long here. Whew, bugs. Um, out into the uh, out into the wilderness <clears throat> for an adventure. So I think I'll bring this and give this guy a shot and then I can report it and let you guys know what I think about it. Next up we have this tarp system. This is from DD Hammocks. So they make hammocks and this is the tarp system for hammocks. Uh, it's nine by nine. It does come with some tent pegs and it also comes with some um, some cordage as well. Basically you're, uh, what do they call them? They're four guy ropes uh, to attach. So this is the system that they recommend for putting over a hammock when you're out hammock camping. Um, Seems pretty, you know, pretty solid as far as the material. It is uh, 190T polyester and it's PU coated, um, polyurethane coated. The price for this is 74 bucks, 70, yeah, 74 bucks. That's a lot of money for a tarp. That just seems really expensive. Um, and I, I don't know, I mean, you can, you can get a decent tarp, you know, at, at a store for, 20 bucks maybe i don't know it's nine by nine so it's a little bit bigger than maybe some of your average tarps or a different shape than your average tarp but that just seems like a lot of money for a tarp so if it was the tarp and the hammock maybe um this is the little bag it comes in i'll show you like i said i'm going on an adventure soon so i'm going to take this guy and i'll give it a i'll give it a shot but looks like it could work well but 75 bucks just seems like a lot of cash for a tarp so that's our, our next item in this month's battle box all right, last up here, we have the Raptor Razor Mano Filet Kit. So this is kind of cool. Um, the box is nice and compact, so you can obviously, you know, just throw this in a throw this in a, a kit. It opens up, and inside, let me see if I can keep this open. That's what it looks like. So we have three different blades, one, two, three, a sharpener, and then your handle, and then basically your system to put it together. So let me show you how this works real quick. Here's your little... Mine was pretty rusty, as you can see, when it arrived. They do have a couple different bits, but you've got, well, actually you've got three blades and a saw. So let's say you're gonna do some filleting and you wanna use this blade. So you can see I've got those three little screws that are in there. So one, two, and you might think you don't need to take this third one out, but it just it makes the whole process easier. So you can kind of sandwich the uh, two halves of the handle together. I'll grab that one in a second. So one, two, three. All right, well that last one just fell into like the awkward place on the tail bed of my uh, truck, but we'll get that in a second. But let me just show you real quick. So that goes in between these two sections of the handle. There are a couple pegs there for you to line it up. And you clip this down and then you put these back in. And crank them down like so. Let's see if you can see that. There's one. There's two. And if I have the third one, which is down in my truck bed right now, um, you put the third one in there. And now you've got your fillet knife. And it is quite ergonomic when you grab a hold of it. Kind of nice. 
So then you got three blades and then you have the saw blade as well. And then you've got a sharpener as well. So with your three blades, your saw, your sharpener, and then your different, um, you've got your different uh, bits for the little wrench thing. Price for this can be 125, 125. All right guys, so feedback on this box. I'm gonna call this box like, okay. Um, it's not amazing by any means. I guess it's okay to good. Um, just a couple of these items, the price point seems notably high for me, for me compared to what I think it would be worth as far as the item. Now that doesn't mean that um, when you, you know, if you went out to the store, you wouldn't see these for that price that they've listed. You'd probably actually see it for more expensive because that's how the, uh, you know, they basically get a discount deal and they buy things in bulk. So it's just the value of the items versus the price for me, like the tarp, just too expensive, 75 bucks for the tarp. That doesn't do anything magical. The Raptor Razor set is nice, but I don't think I'd pay 125 for it. The water bottle's nice, but I wouldn't pay 40 bucks for it. So um, yeah, I just think it's a bit too expensive for the value you're getting from the items. Now for me, this is where feedback is especially helpful because if you guys have used some of these products and you're like, yeah, this one's awesome, here's why, here's additional you know, features you haven't thought about, then let me know. Um, again, this is not a full review of the products, it's kind of an overview, but I imagine myself often at a store and if I was looking at these products, would I be like, yes, I'd buy that and how much would I be willing to spend on that product? So yeah, I put it in okay to good category. Um, gotta be straight up with you guys about you know what I think about the boxes. Sometimes the months are great and sometimes the months are not so great. So this one is in the okay category. Let's hear your thoughts and feedback and let's uh, get that discussion started in the comment section now. All right guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.